Welcome to Broncolor's How-To Video, Part 3. Hello, I'm Urs Reicher, photographer and consultant at Broncolor. Hi, I'm Carl Taylor, commercial photographer and photography instructor. And we are here to show you how-to. So Urs, why don't you tell the good people exactly what how-to is? Well, Carl, How To is a fantastic educational resource from Brown Color. We've created lots of reference images, each one with its own lighting diagram and description. That's right, Urs. And to access this great information, you simply need to follow Brown Color through their website or like them on their Facebook page for regular updates. So on this one, Urs, really, really simple. This has got to be as simple as it can be. Um, sometimes I find objects that just look really elegant, the shapes and the textures just work really nicely. So I'm combining these two spoons with this uh, matte acrylic surface and they, they blend very nicely together. And I'm lighting it from behind with mm -hmm. a single softbox through this uh, sheet of Perspex just to give this lovely edge lighting yeah, over the uh, top of the spoons. Looks great, but it's, it's black on black, a black object and a black background. Are you not, not afraid that uh, it's getting too dark from the front? No, um, what, I, what I'm going to do is just use a silver panel and I'm just going to go into camera position here and you can see there, look at the amount of light I can just oh, yeah. fill back in yes. with that simple silver reflector. So that will give me the fill light that I need. The only other problem that I've got is the amount of sheen of light on the surface here at the back. So what I do here is I will just take a card and I will just blank out a little bit of that surface sheen on one of the shots there, just till I get mm -hmm. enough light coming onto the spoons, but not hitting the background right. surface. And this could not be simpler. I mean, if we take a look, all I've got here is a single 30 by 120 softbox, one light setup. That's it. Uh. That's it, nothing else, sheet of perspex. You could probably get a good shot without even the sheet of perspex on this one, uh, but it's such a simple setup and it will give, hopefully, a really elegant still life study. Right. Okay. Next up, we have another fantastic still life shoot. And don't forget, you can find more great how-tos on Broncolor's website. So, as uh, this looks interesting, aubergine or eggplant, looks like you're going for some sort of uh, rim lighting on this. Exactly. I would like to shoot the, the black shiny object on a black background, but with a very clear rim light all around, you know. And okay. this, this light should as well show the, the form of the eggplant a little you, bit. You said on a black background, but yes. we're on a, on a white. We are on a white acrylic table, but the trick is here, just okay. a piece of paper which is cut in the same shape like the aubergine, just a few millimeters bigger. Right, you know? okay. So I put it here, just on the hot spot of my light, and the aubergine just on top of it. Okay. So I have a few millimeters black around and then a nicely graduated light that reflects. Right, in the and then we can Photoshop the black back into the shot. That's the idea, afterwards. yes. That's so let's idea. look at the lighting then yeah. on this from underneath. Exactly. I just use a bare bulb and with nothing else than the distance, I adjust the gradation. If the light is far down, the table is more or less evenly lit, very boring, okay. low shape nothing happens and if I go all the way up I get here a very strong hot spot you know it's very bright here yep. close to the aubergine and this is the outest rim of the aubergine though it's very white and then nicely graduated and this shows me the form of my object okay and I noticed you've also got another light yes. on the top here it's a pico light with the most narrow grids and it's just hitting here a little bit on the, the green part. Okay, just to highlight that area. Yes, I need this light because this is not shiny, so it doesn't really catch up this light very okay. nicely. So this needs like a, a se special, special light, light yes, on it. exactly. And then I notice you've got uh, a little bit of a lens flare shield here with a cutout card. Yeah, that's right, that's, that's quite important here. I really want to have my blacks really clean, yep. fully black. And of course I have here tons of light and everything goes straight into the lens. Even when I have my lens shade here, yeah. this is just not precise enough. So I just block most of the light from the table that it doesn't hit my lens and then my black is really clean. 
Okay, great. Well, let's let's see what it comes out yeah. like. Just replace this quickly at the right position. All right. Can I push the button. Yeah, better. Great. Don't forget to like us on Facebook for regular updates and look out for more great how-to tips in part four and by following Broncolor on their website.